Assalamu alaikum. So, in this lockdown, uh, the process of teaching and learning is uh, continued, and uh, we are at the place where we should be conducting quizzes and assignments. So, qu conducting quizzes and assignments using Google Classroom is not something difficult. We can easily conduct them. So, how to conduct assignment and quizzes using Google Classroom? So, first of all, we need to switch from stream to classwork. So when I switch to classwork, there I can see this button uh, on which this plus sign with uh, create is written on that. So after clicking that, I'll be going to the second option. Now here I can give any name to my assignments. So since I am teaching communication skill, I can write communication skills in this tab. You can give any instruction, for example, do not cheat as it is Ramadan. So, yeah, basically, so uh, you will take a blank quiz from here and you can again give any name to your quiz. So, this can be subheading like types of communication. So, this is my subheading name or this is what I want to take test on. So for example, if I put my first question here, how uh, many types of communication are there? So I can select so many options from here. I can take multiple choice. I can take short answer, paragraph, check boxes, drop box, uh, linear scale, uh, whatever. But since we are doing quizzes, so multiple choice is a good option. So let me write uh, the option number one. So it may be one. Option number two may be uh, two. Option number three may be three types. So after doing this, I'll be going to the answer key and I'll uh, mark the correct answer. So for example, uh, we can give points on this on correct answer how many points you want to give so for example if I put uh, one point on the uh, correct answer so for example if I am putting this so this is the correct answer for me there are two types of communication verbal and nonverbal and then I am uh, making it done like I, I click done so my one question is complete. I'll go to this tab now. You can see certain tabs here, add video, add selection, add image, text. So this is my second question. So here I will write uh, what is uh, like uh, anything that I want to say. So this means that I can add 10 question, 15 or uh, 20 questions, as many as I like. So I'm done with, for example, suppose I am done with my 10 questions or 15 questions. Now what I will next do is, I'll go back to my classwork where I have prepared this quiz and then I'll set date and timing. So here you can see the option of date. For example, if uh, today it is uh, 3rd of April, so I will click 3rd of April. You can even uh, schedule it for tomorrow आप कल के लिए हफ्ते बाद के लिए 10 दिन बाद के लिए इसको शेड्यूल कर सकते हैं जिस टाइम का आपको शो हो रहा है सो एंड आई वांट दिस क्विज टू बी कंप्लीटेड इन 5 मिनट्स सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ इट इज स्टार्टिंग एट 6:00 दैट विल बी 18 इन द इवनिंग सो लाइक द टाइम डिपेंड्स अपॉन यू like आप कितना उसे time देना चाह रहे हैं, कितना उसे increase करना चाह रहे हैं। so आपका starting time, क्योंकि अभी तो मैंने आज की date दी है, तो मैं इनको सिर्फ अगर अभी मेरे पास 5:36 हो रहे हैं, so I can give them 17:45. so they have only this much time for the quiz, and then I'll click assign. So when I click assign, the quiz will automatically be transferred. So you can see the time due time is uh, 17.45 and we have 17.36 now. 
I'll be switching to the classwork again stream and here the quiz is. So I'll click on the quiz and there the form. I can see the form and when I open it, I can see all the options there. So when I fill it automatically and uh, I submit it, so my scores will be there recorded. So this is the way you can conduct any test or quiz using Google uh, Classroom and the students too they can uh, they they should watch this video as they should know uh, from where to find the quiz so they will be coming to their Google Classroom and in Google Classroom they can find the quizzes right here like in their stream there will be a quiz and uh, upcoming you can see that it is due today the time is there so when they will be clicking on this they will directly reach to the quiz and uh, they will like uh, submit their answers here so thank you very much for watching it and uh, do try this on uh, in your classrooms in your common practice allah bless you